I'm Trevor the Treasure Seeker, and I'm going to tell you about the story of Ruth. She gets a whole book of the Bible all to herself. She was that important. Now, her husband Elimelech thought because there was no food in the land of Bethlehem. Now, Bethlehem means the house of bread, but they were out of bread. There was a famine, so he moved his family from Bethlehem to Moab. Now, while they were there, sadly, Elimelech and both of their sons, Malon and Kilion, all three died. So, Naomi, she moved back to Bethlehem, but her daughters started to go with her. Now, these were her daughter-in-laws. They were the wives of her sons. But she stopped them and said, look, Why are you following me? Even if I got married today, it would take years before I could give you husbands, and by that time you'd be my age, so why would you want to do that? So Orpah, one of the daughters-in-law, she went back to Moab. She worshipped the gods of Moab, not the one true god, but Ruth. She said, Naomi, I'm going to follow you. Wherever you go, I will go. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. So, when they arrived at Bethlehem, everyone was all excited, and they wondered why this Moabitess, that's what they call the women in Moab, Moab, they wondered why she would be so loyal to Naomi. And the only thing, thing was they didn't have any work it was harder for women to work on their own back in those days and they didn't need the government to help the local farmers would help them they would go behind the people who were gathering up the grain and they would take some home the things that were left so that's exactly what Ruth did and the field that she happened to pick was that of Boaz and when she told Naomi whose field she was in she said, that's, that's one of our kinsmen. He was related to them, a distant relation. And she was so excited. And sure enough, when Boaz found out who she was, that she was the daughter-in-law of Naomi, he was very helpful to her. And he urged his men that were working in the field to let her have a little extra grain and to make sure that no one gave her any troubles. Then, at a certain point, Naomi hatched a plan. She said, while they've got the grain all out in the barn, why don't you go in and lay at his feet and ask him if he'll put the wings of his... Well, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. To cover her. So that's exactly what she did. At the end of the day, they were all exhausted. So she crept in and curled up by his feet. Well, in the middle of the night, his feet got cold and he woke up and saw this woman laying at his feet. And he said, who are you and what are you doing here? And she said, I'm Ruth, the daughter-in-law of Naomi. Would you please cover me with your wings? Now, now let me get to this because the wings were probably the wings of her prayer shawl. Not her prayer shawl. It was Boaz's prayer shawl. But Ruth was asking Boaz to cover her with the wings of his prayer shawl. She was basically saying, will you cover me with prayer? Isn't that beautiful? And she was basically asking him to become the kinsman redeemer, which was the person who could help Elimelech's family to go beyond his own lifetime. So he was all excited and he ran to the city gate and said, hey, oh yeah, he remembered there was a kinsman redeemer that was closer to Ruth than he was. And so he went to that kinsman redeemer and he said, hey, you know, uh, Naomi's come back to town and she's got that field. You interested in it? You're the closest kinsman redeemer. And he said, oh yeah, I've had my eye on that field. I'd love to have it. Well, you know, Ruth also comes with the deal. What? Oh, no, I could never marry a foreigner. 
So, Boaz was overjoyed because he wanted to marry Ruth. So, Boaz did something that might sound bizarre to you. He took off his sandal and he gave it to the nearest kinsman redeemer. That means that they had basically made an agreement. You see the shoe? You know what to do. And they had a little baby named Obed. And Obed was the great, 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 great grandfather of King David. And you know, King David was the great, 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 great grandfather of Jesus. So that's one of the reasons that Ruth gets her own chapter. Her own chapter, she gets a whole book of the Bible. Because she was the great, 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 great grandmother of Jesus, who was the most loyal of any. Romans 5 8 says, God demonstrated his own love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still paying attention to what the world was doing, and they were saying what was right and what was wrong, Jesus stepped in. Because when we go after the things that are wrong, children, it hurts God's heart. And we don't have the ability to come to him when we're doing what's wrong. We need God's covering, and that can only come through Jesus. Why don't we pray for that covering, that the loyal Jesus Christ will help us to extend our family line all the way into eternity. So, dear Lord Jesus, please forgive us for all we've ever done wrong. Wash us clean and help us to live for you by living within us and helping us to grow in you. And Lord, some of us may have prayed this prayer before, But we thank you that we can pray at any time we need to, to ask you to cover anything that's offended you and help us to live more, more excitedly for you. Amen. Children, that is the greatest treasure ever. 